What's up guys? It's Christmas. Merry Christmas. Welcome to my desk everybody. I think I'm gonna go ahead and unbox some stuff here for you. Kinda show you what I got for Christmas. This is my Game in Canada Christmas haul. Up first got a little package from Amazon and as you can see it is the Bros Trend AC1200 wireless dual band USB adapter. Now this adapter works with Mac OS as well as Linux and Windows. Basically what I'm going to be using this for is I want to run Linux on a separate hard drive on my PC and since this accepts 5 GHz networks, I'm going to be trying to capture the Wii U's gamepad with the 5 GHz network. So basically the Wii U streams the gamepad footage over the 5 GHz network so that's why the Wii U doesn't use a 5 GHz network for the Wi-Fi. We're going to run a program called DRC Sim that's going to allow us to grab the video feed broadcast it to our PC and then we can go ahead and use OBS or some sort of recording software to basically give us a wireless capture card for our Wii U. Now this is going to be super cool and I can't wait to make a video about it. Up next is the SADES R9 Spirit Wolf headset. Now this is a USB headset that you can actually get on Amazon for under $30. It is absolutely epic. It sounds absolutely amazing and the microphone is near studio quality. If you were looking for a headset maybe to make videos with or something like that, I honestly think that this would be a massive upgrade for most people's microphones. I might do a full review on this headset as it is so cheap and it really works quite well. Let's get into unboxing it. You guys kind of already saw me unbox it a little bit earlier. So it comes with a disc with the drivers on it as well as a little installation manual. I do believe there might be 7.1 surround sound for this, but I'm not too sure. I haven't got it set up on my computer yet. As you can see, I got kind of a teal blue or maybe just like a light blue color. They look absolutely awesome. There's a little flip down mic right here. Really, really slick headset. What's cool about them is I break a lot of headsets right in this part at the top and these are actually crazy bendy. The logos on the side light up when you plug in the USB and if you're not listening to any music, they actually breathe. It looks pretty awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and plug these in. I got a USB right here. And I'm gonna switch over to the audio from the microphone just to show you guys the difference between my Blue Yeti, which is actually an amazing quality mic. You can see the blue LEDs lit up on the side. I'm actually recording from the microphone right now and it probably sounds pretty darn decent. With a little bit of mixing and mastering, I bet you could get some amazing quality out of this. And if you're just streaming PC games or something like that and you just wanna talk to people, this is gonna be a great microphone for that as well. The noise cancelling feature works pretty well. As you can hear, I'm kind of yelling a little bit, I think. It's hard to tell. If you look here, you have the ability to mute the microphone, as well as mute the audio coming to the headset, as well as turn it up or turn it down. Up next is actually an accessory I got from my Wii U. Now this is a USB 2.0 Ethernet network adapter. So this is going to allow me to connect my Ethernet cable directly into my Wii U and hopefully I can get some awesome non-laggy matches of Black Ops 2 as well as Mario Kart. I'm honestly not sure it'll be that much better than Wi-Fi but I thought why not grab one of these, it'll be pretty cool. Go ahead and cut this open and see what we're working with here. There we go, pretty slick little ethernet adapter. Nice and small, should be able to tuck it away pretty easily. Now I'm pretty sure people love to hear this stuff get pulled off, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it right next to the mic for y'all. Did I do it right? Comes with a little GameCube disc in case you wanna hook it up to your GameCube, I'm totally joking. This next box may contain awesome, so let's check it out. I actually already know what's in it, so I saved this to open with you guys. So inside of here is actually a ridiculously massive one terabyte Western Digital 3.5 inch desktop hard drive. Absolutely dope. 
came in this really cool little bubble wrap. So if you guys have watched the channel at any point in time, you know that I built a pretty budget computer. I actually salvaged a two and a half inch hard drive from my old laptop and it was only around 500 gigabytes. So now I have a one terabyte that I'm gonna go ahead and add to that. And I'm actually gonna use the 500 gigabyte for something completely different. Oh wait, I mentioned it already, Linux. Last up for my Christmas haul is actually more audio equipment. So I really am trying to get good audio on everything that I do. It's hard working with the Blue Yeti sometimes. Even over here in the corner, it's a little echoey, but we do what we can. I'm gonna hopefully get some soundproofing and all that up real soon. I'm gonna turn my room into more of a studio. I also really want to vlog a bit more. I do a lot of random things in my day that maybe aren't game related, and I'd like to bring you guys along. So what I've gone ahead and done is I asked for this Video Mic Me for Christmas. Now this Video Mic Me actually plugs right into the headphone jack of your cell phone and completely takes over. Now this thing has such good audio quality that you can legitimately replace a studio mic with this thing. It's a shotgun mic so you can point it wherever you want to hear the sound and it's also going to cancel out anything that it's not pointed at. Super handy for vlogging and I can't wait to hook it up to my camera. I also grabbed this Rode TRRS to TRS adapter so that I could go ahead and use this microphone on any of my normal cameras. So I have a Canon camcorder and it has a normal microphone jack. I'm hoping I can use this to use my Rode Video Mic Me now on my camcorder. Now I know you guys have noticed me filming with this fish eye for this whole video. Now as you can see, this is the Air Pro 2. So this is made by Ion and it's actually kind of like a GoPro ripoff. Now this is waterproof up to 30 feet without a case and it has a really wide angle. I think it's 180 degrees. The only problem is since it is waterproof up to 30 meters, it has horrible, horrible sound quality as the microphone is encased somewhere in there. So I'm hoping through a couple of adapters, I'm gonna be able to use the video mic me on the fisheye and I'd be able to walk around with the fisheye having great quality audio. Enough talking, I'm gonna pull these out of the boxes and just show you real quick and then we'll do a mic test on the camera. So the Video Mic Me is actually designed for iPhones since they have the headphone jack on the opposite side of the camera and you're about to see why. So right off the bat you can see I've kind of got what looks like a dead animal in here. Now this is actually called a dead cat filter, I'm fairly certain. Basically it comes packaged already inside of the filter just to protect it a little bit. And as you can see there's a headphone pass through so you can go ahead and plug in your headphones and listen to the audio. Let me see, this windscreen apparently works just amazing, but I'm not going to be able to use it on my phone currently as it will probably cover up the camera. So there we go, I managed to get this out of there now. Here is what the video mic me looks like up close. As you can see, it's got a TRRS adapter on the bottom for plugging right into the headphone slot. There's the directional mic. And it's just super clean and lightweight. The only other thing it really comes with is this little compression piece for the back so that it can hold itself onto your phone. So I've got my cell phone here, headphone jack. You just plug it in like that. You then go ahead and you just put this on the back until it fits nice and snug. And now it's not going to spin on you and it's pointed right at you. I'm going to show you two clips now. One is going to be with my regular camera audio, and then the next one is going to be with the Rode Video Mic Me. Okay guys, so this is the regular audio on my cell phone without the Video Mic Me. Let's go ahead, plug in the Video Mic Me, and tell me if you notice any difference. So here's the Video Mic Me pointed directly at me. I'm hoping it sounds pretty darn awesome. Maybe with a little bit less background noise, maybe a little bit of mixing and mastering later could even improve the audio further. But, you know, maybe this will turn my cell phone into a vlogging camera for at least the meantime. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed my Christmas haul. I hope you guys got everything you wanted for Christmas, and if you didn't, I hope you at least got to spend some time with your family. That's really what it's all about. We have New Year's right around the corner. 2018 is creeping up on us. This channel is not even a year old yet and it probably won't be till almost February. We've managed to get 11,000 subscribers in less than a year. It's all thanks to you guys. Hitting that thumbs up, subscribing, it brings in the crowd. I'll catch you all soon. I hope we can grow this channel to a million subscribers someday. Would be pretty awesome. Much love, peace.